What I'm holding in my hand is the media point from Lanitech. It's the main component of the multi-room smart home system. Now we have already connected the power supply. Let's connect Ethernet and the speakers right there. So this device can uh, take the music either from the network attached storage device that we have here or from the inbuilt memory, but that is quite a small volume of memory, about two gigabytes. So most it will be using the network attached storage. Now both of them support the DLNA standard and that's how they're able to communicate. Also our media point can play uh, audio files from other devices that support DLNA. Now in just a few moments, oh, already there, the system has detected our media point and we're able to go onto the media section. Let's go to playlist and uh, choose the storage that we want to use. We want to use this media storage. Music, add by folder, and when we go to control, we're able to control the music and listen to the lovely melodies. You can go to the next track, increase the volume, or decrease it. This um, media point uh, and multi-room system in general is deeply integrated into the smart home system and soon we're going to tell you why. Now we can buy in some buttons. Um, let's go to edit mode and we can choose which buttons we want to bind. We want to bind this one and the other one. So we have two buttons and now in their setup modes we will see what we want them to do. For example, this left button with one click it'll play or pause the song and let's pick this long click here with the long click it'll bring the volume down okay fine now let's take the setup for the second one so we want with one click to go to the next track and with the long click we want to bring the volume up and then we press ok and now let's see how it works. One click, it should play the song. Or pause it. Play it again. Go to the next track. Bring the volume up. Or down. Works like a charm. We can also add some magic to this show by adding some RGB lights. Let's go back to edit mode and color music. We only have one RGB light connected, so let's choose it. There we go. And now when we play the song, we can go to color music. And if we press this button, we'll have the magic colors blinking to the sounds of our music. And we can really, really relax at our home. Let's go to the tools section. There are several functions that we should look at. One is the notify function. When you want to notify everybody living in your house of something important, you just press that and you choose the speakers that way you want this played. Maybe you have several rooms and you want this to be played in two rooms out of three and you'll choose the appropriate speaker. Here we have only one, so um, we choose one. Then we start broadcasting and we broadcast the message. Attention citizens, everybody is to show up to dinner at 5 o'clock. Attention citizens, everybody is to show up to dinner at 5 o'clock. This way we can notify people of something important. Then we can also sync playing uh, when we want all media points of the house to play the same melody or the same music or the same playlist. There is something called move plane when the sound follows you when you go from room to room and the copy playlist function copies the playlist uh, from one media point uh, onto another one. For example, if you love listening to jazz in one room uh, and then listening to rock in another one and listening to soul in the kitchen, then if you, if you like, you can just copy a jazz playlist and, and listen to your jazz in, in the kitchen if you, if you are so inclined to. 
Because our system supports the DLNA standard, um, we can interact with other devices that support it too. For example, this Sonos speaker. Now, we have connected it to the system, and let's see if they can find a common tongue. We choose this one. Playlist. Okay. Uh, take the music from the server. Uh, music. Folders. And just choose all of them. Add. And now when we play it, it will be played through the Sonos speaker. Epic.